Hi, I'm Jennifer Cynthia and today I'm going to show you how to wash your used dirty wefts. The first thing you need to do is gather your wefts together and detangle them from root to tip whilst the hair is still dry. You don't need to use any products to do this, you just detangle all the hair. I've now detangled all the wefts and I've arranged them in order according to their lengths and I'm going to wash them in these small sections as they are. I'm taking a small piece of the weft and I'm now going to fold it into a small roll. This will make it easier to hold the weft whilst I'm washing it. So first of all, you put some water onto the weft, drain the water and then you pour a little bit of washing up liquid and apply it onto the top of the weft and onto the ends of the weft as well and just begin to emulsify the hair with the shampoo. For your first wash, pay special attention to the top of the weft because this is where most of the dirt accumulates. As you're washing, open the weft and make sure you've got every single section of the weft. Rinse the weft and you repeat the same thing again with the washing up liquid. Make sure you rinse out all the washing up liquid properly. So after your second wash with the washing up liquid, you'll realise that the hair feels really stiff and that's because most of the, the grease and the oil and dirt from your weft has been lifted off. So to take away the stiffness, we're now going to do one shampoo and apply a really good conditioner or mask to the weft. In this case, I'm going to use conditioner. Once you apply your conditioner to the ends of the weft only, leave the hair aside and begin to wash your next set of the weft that you have. As you apply your conditioner, the hair will begin to go soft immediately. So after you've completed the rest of your wefts, you now need to rinse out the conditioner and this is the important part. If your conditioner is not rinsed out properly, you're going to end up with greasy wefts. So you need to make sure you take your time and rinse everything out properly. So this is what your hair will look like once it's been washed. It might appear very tangled. If you've got curly hair especially, it will look really tangled. So now you have to detangle the hair again. Now that the hair is detangled, you need to either leave it on the heater to dry or you can use your blow dryer to dry it off. So this is what your weft looks like when it's been washed properly. It has a lot of movement, there's no hair sticking together and it just looks healthy and it flows. If your weft hasn't been washed properly, it will look like this. You'll have some parts that look dry and some parts that still look wet and that's because the oil is still in the hair. I hope you found this tutorial useful. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to get bouncy curls in just three minutes.